So there you go. Yeah, I think that's kind of why they don't just do that. Hmm. Now well, imagine they if they had done like, you know, liquid fueled booster. It, it is kind of hard to make liquid rocket engines you know they're still kind of finicky but one company has tamed their beast and that my friends is firefly so we haven't talked about firefly that much on the show they're a, a small sat launcher they did a full static fire uh, or an, a good static fire of their first stage of their firefly alpha launch vehicle um, you can think of this, it's it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more powerful and more capable than Rocket Lab's Electron. And they are, you know, I think I feel like we keep talking about all the different, like last week we talked about Astra. Um, there's so many companies right on the verge of like having hardware done, ready to start launching small sats. And, and Firefly is definitely kind of at the top of this chart right now. It's to me, Firefly and Virgin Orbit are, are neck and neck, and I I thought Astra too were all, are all neck and neck to be the the next commercial entity going into orbit. Um, so I just wanted to real quick show you a little rundown on what the Firefly Alpha is because I I don't think we've talked about it too much, but um, to low Earth orbit it can take a thousand kilograms, so that's over three times as much as the Electron. Um, to to low Earth orbit. Uh, it has four, what they're calling Reaver engines, which are liquid oxygen and RP1, uh, engines on the first stage. It is, li- um, yeah, liquid oxygen and RP1. It is a uh, turbo pump fed, but it's a tap off turbo pump. If I remember right. Um, uh, it's yes. Tap off cycle turbo pumps. So, um, kind of a simple engine cycle, but, but awesome single shaft, uh, tap off. Uh, altogether, the first stage has 736 kilonewtons of thrust. That's um, that's still less than one Merlin engine for all four engines. So that kind of gives you a, a scale. It's, it's similar to the original Falcon 1, though. The original Falcon 1 didn't have as much power. And the first stage in a vacuum can produce ni- uh, 295.6 uh, seconds of specific, specific impulse. The second stage uses also liquid oxygen and RP-1, but a single Lightning 1 engine which again is turbo pump fed with 70 kilonewtons of thrust and 322 seconds of specific impulse. The vehicle is 1.8 meters wide, so six feet wide. And altogether, the overall length of the vehicle is 29 meters or 95 feet long. So it's pretty good size. It's it's very similar again to the Falcon 1. Um, and it's also, but it's made entirely out of carbon composite. Again, much like the Electron. It's kind of like the Electron and Falcon 1 had a baby. That's kind of what this is like. And... Um, I don't think I've heard uh, any news on when they're hoping to, to launch yet, but um, they're, I mean, they're closing in on the, the final steps. Oh, to March. They're aiming for March 2021. So hopefully we'll... Right around the corner. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, again, it is rockets. It is space flight. So that could be, you could double that, <laughs> you know, and say September of next year, but they're clo- they're making the right steps and... Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty darn awesome. So, Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.